welcome to Mass with Bob. Today we're looking at resistant motion under gravity and under the umbrella of mechanics and we're looking at resistance being proportional to velocity squared this time and uh, it was just proportional to the velocity in the last video. So we now have R equals kV squared. Okay, uh, The minion is still rising uh, and you'll see here that the resistance obviously is kV squared and G acting downwards the gravity is acting in the opposite direction of the net force which is in the positive direction, uh, the up direction, if you like. Okay, so let's set the equations up as again, again, and you can see here, uh, not much difference really. Uh, the only thing is the, um, well, if you like, the uh, kV squared, I guess you could say. Um, and so it's going to be mx double dot equals minus mg minus m kV squared, dividing through by m, we get x double dot equals minus g minus kV squared. Now, it's a fairly involved process. I'm just going to see if we can get this pen to see if I can get it to. Uh, ah, yes, here we are. Okay, so let's uh, see if I can make it. Uh, I'll try and make it bigger. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to make this little circle bigger. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, where do we go? Okay, here we are. Um, X double dot equals minus g minus kV squared. Now, we're going to be using, again, the different uh, ways of writing the acceleration. We have dvdt first, then uh, dv, uh, v dv dx for the height, or its position, if you like. Now, obviously, using this again, now it's minus g minus kv squared. We separate the variables, as we did last time, and then we have to integrate from the initial velocity u up to the velocity v, and time being going from 0 to t. And uh, the trouble is we... Um, we're going to have to try and integrate uh, this thing here, which is uh, dv over g plus kv squared. Now, what I've done here, I've just, uh, it's an inverse tan, but uh, we, well, I'm going to change the variable, to p squared equals kv squared, just so that um, we can see here, it turns into one of these inverse tan integrals here. But um, I'll just go through what happens is, obviously, if p squared equals kv squared, then 2 dp, or 2p dp equals 2kv uh, dv. Um, okay, so um, we adjust the bounds. Uh, obviously, the bounds will need to be now p bounds instead of, uh, if you like, uh, v bounds. And uh, the, the p is equal to k root kv and root ku. Okay, so this is the integral here. I'll just see if I can uh, get, it, get, it, get it to go bigger. Here we are. Yes, okay, so. Here's the integral, um, and you can see the bounds have changed. It's, a, it's, a, well, it's an inverse tan 1, and basically it turns into something like this, which is uh, t equals minus, okay, 1 on root gk inverse tan p over root g uh, from uh, root kv to root ku, okay, which we're going to need to evaluate. Okay, so let's actually uh, have a look at this. It's quite involved, actually. Uh, so. Here we go. Uh, so it's obviously an inverse tan, and we have put in the uh, boundary conditions, and then we need to take the tan of both sides. So over here, um, let's see if I can get this pen uh, to work. Again. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ah, yes, nice big one. Okay, here we are. So let's have a look. So, um, can we can get it all in. I might need to make it a bit... Uh, it's a bit, a bit tricky to enlarge it. Okay, here we go. All right. So uh, once we, we put... Uh, we obviously multiply by root uh, gk and uh, then take the tan of both sides. And we have to use the tan expansion, but basically we end up getting, uh, it's like the tan A uh, plus B result, if you like, or A minus B result actually, is tan A minus B result. It's uh, tan A minus tan B all over 1 plus tan A times tan B. That's the uh, expansion. So we, we then put in uh, the values uh, you can see here, and we end up getting, uh, after a little bit of manipulation, we end up getting the tan of root uh, gk and the t is not underneath the square root sign, but we uh, basically have this expression here, 
and uh, we well let's go over let's go try and take it over here here we are and um, now uh, obviously when we uh, dividing fractions we invert and multiply we get a bit more uh, convoluted sort of expression we need to then try and extract out the V if you like out of this so we need to multiply by G plus K U V uh, and then regroup try and get the V out uh, you can see here it involves a fair bit of work uh, but eventually we get that the, the velocity V at any particular time T is root K G U minus G tan uh, root G K T all over K U tan root GK T uh, plus root KG or GK. Okay, so that's the velocity at time T. And how about the height? Well, okay, so what do we do here? Well, obviously, again, we uh, rewrite the uh, equations of motion, if you like. Um, and obviously, it's, it's rising, the, the minion is rising. Here it is. It's going to be rising up this direction. And uh, its res resistance is kV squared and gravity acting in the opposite direction to the net force mx double dot. And that's why we have negative signs, I guess I said before. Now we're going to use the acceleration um, expression. I'll just try and see if we can get this thing to go uh, over here. Okay, so we're trying to use now v dv dx because we want x basically, you know, the position. Okay, so uh, this is not a uh, not too bad integral actually when we separate the variables you can see here it's now going to be there's a v dv on g plus kv squared so that hopefully reminds you of the log integrals okay okay so this gives us at the x is equal to minus 1 and 2k ln this is a natural log or log to the base e if you like g plus kv squared from u to v and when we put it in you can see here we get an expression x 1 on 2k ln g plus ku squared all over g plus kv squared. Now if you want to get the maximum height, uh, sometimes you get asked to get the maximum height, you need to set uh, x, well, I mean, let x be h the maximum height and set the velocity to be zero. And you can actually get a height expression here in terms of the initial velocity and gravity is here h is equal to 1 on 2k ln 1 plus ku squared all over g. Well, that's all for this video and thank you for watching and bye for now.